Did any of you guys see the final of The Apprentice? Now, for you guys that don't know, The Apprentice is a reality show where a highly successful business person, in the UK's example, it is Sir Alan Sugar, has multiple contestants vying for his investment in their company. Now, I'll admit this is a guilty pleasure of mine. Don't judge me. I don't watch much TV, but I have watched this. Now, the show is based on the original from the US of A, with their important business person being none other than former President of the United States, Donald Trump. The show has become synonymous with the phrase, you're fired, which is exactly what they do for anyone that does not pass the test on each show. They boil it down to, uh, ultimately, the finalist contestants, and uh, ultimately, this business person picks the person and their business and their business plan in which they wish to invest in. Now, last night, it was the final of the UK version and Lord Alan Sugar, who was knighted by the Queen in 2000 for his services in the electronics and home computer industry and was also enlisted by the government as a enterprise czar in 2016. He chose the winner of this year's competition. But before he did so, the final task, um, usually at the beginning of the show, he will deliver his task in some notable location. Now, where did he choose his notable location to be for the final task of this year's competition? It was the Freemasons Hall in West London. Check it out. In the West End of London, Freemasons Hall. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Lord Sugar. Welcome to Freemasons Hall. For centuries, Freemasons have been proud to practice their shared values of integrity, friendship, and respect. At the end of this process, I would like a business partner that shares those same values. Now, only one of you can receive my £250,000 investment. And this is your last opportunity to convince me that that person should be you. So for your final task, I'd like you to launch your new business. In a few days' time, you're going to pitch your new business. Afterwards, we'll meet in the boardroom where one of you will become my business partner. I also found it interesting how... Before delivering the task, obviously, he wakes up the contestants, uh, or his secretary does, to invite them where to go to be delivered the task. And when they did, I noticed the flooring in the residence that they've used uh, throughout the series to house the contestants. The flooring was clearly a checkered floor, just like that, that you will find in Masonic lodges and that you, you see in the clip of the Freemasons Hall. I find this whole thing very interesting. Why would he choose this location for the final? Is Lord Alan Sugar a Freemason? Now, it looks like the uh, Durham chapter of Freemasons uh, were excited about his presence there and promoted that. Um, and this was certainly on the BBC, uh, you know, a very much a promotion of, of Freemason values. Now, uh, Lord Sugar implies that he wishes that the winner of the competition, who would uh, be his business partner, uh, would hold the values and morals of a Freemason. It's almost as if he's saying, look, if you're going to be my business partner, um, I hope you're, you're like a Freemason and perhaps you will become a Freemason. Is he a Freemason? Well, there doesn't seem to be any glaring evidence of such, but I would be surprised if he was not in the club considering his high status, his knighting, but not only that, his connections. This is a club, if you're someone with uh, any notoriety, you're likely to be at least approached by, but likely involved in. It would seem that if he is a Freemason, that he does not necessarily promote the fact outwardly. However, you could argue this is a outward, uh, very much prominent promotion of Freemasonry. If he is a Freemason, I'm 
quite sure, possibly because of the potential stigma attached to it, that this is not well known uh, amongst all Freemasons. Uh, and perhaps that he is just one more of the many secrets in the upper echelons of the Freemasons. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you want to support my work, and please do, I really do appreciate anything, any support that I get for, for the work that I do. Um, there is a link in the description. And I really do appreciate it and appreciate all of you that do help. For all of you, until next time, follow M Seeker of Truth. Everything clear? Yes, yes sir. Good luck, and I'll see you in a few days' time. Three days to prove that plans on paper can be turned into viable startups.